LG's next generation gaming monitor is ready to be showcased. Introducing the LG 32GS 95UE 4K dual mode gaming monitor. I'm gonna talk about the new design language. Is there a difference with this matte coating versus the GS and GR versions? A brightness test, a UFO test in both modes, PC and console gaming from a POV and wide angle to showcase the versatility of this new WOLED dual mode. Trust me, PC and console gaming in HDR never look this good. And of course, we'll be testing out that all-touted pixel sound. Is it really that good? And a four-way versus video showcasing QD OLED, W OLED versus Mini LED. Is this new LG monitor really worth it? We're going to find that out today on my review of the LG 32GS 95UE 32-inch 4K Next Generation Dual Mode Gaming Monitor. Friends, please don't forget to hit that like button so more people can see this to know what's out there and see that W OLED improvement. And consider subscribing if you want to see more videos just like this one. I also have a membership page if you want to help support the channel. And I have affiliate links down below as it truly helps me bring technology to you faster than ever. So getting right into it, I have never seen a gaming monitor in HDR mode look this good. The peak highlights are reaching over 1200 nits. And even in a full screen video, HDR mode really stands out. Now to get one thing straight, just note, until we get to a versus video between this 32 versus the 27 QE, I've never had a problem with the text clarity. Everything does look sharper though, and there is a new pixel layout on this current monitor. So wait for that versus video to get more text tests in, but there is an improvement. We all know QD OLED wins versus W OLED in that color department, that color brightness. So for me to get a better image than the stock what LG gives us, I just go into Digital Vibrance in the NVIDIA control panel, and I go up to 6065. Trust me, if you have this monitor, do that. While QD OLED will still look better, it helps this monitor tremendously. Just give it a try. I'm sure you're going to like it. But just don't go over 65. Then everything starts looking too fake, way oversaturated. But you can do this in SDR and HDR modes. But look at the color here. 4K in HDR really does look outstanding. Again, we have a 32-inch 4K UHD OLED gaming display. This is W OLED with a rating of Visa Display HDR True Black 400 with a color gamut support of 98.5 DCI P3. Yes, this is the first monitor supporting dual mode, UHD at 240Hz or 1080p at 480Hz with a 0.03 millisecond greater gray response time. This is pinpoint, very fast. We have an exclusive pixel sound mode where the sound vibrates or comes out of the screen directly in front of you. We also have included a four pole headphone out with DTS Headphone X, NVIDIA G-Sync compatible, and support for AMD FreeSync Premium Pro with a four-side virtually borderless design that supports tilt, height, swivel, and pivot adjustment. LG does support this monitor with a two-year Ultra Gear OLED warranty. Now with that out of the way, let's get into the unboxing. I'm happy LG has returned to that gamerish look. None of that cardboard nonsense. Hey, I love the environment too, but when you're paying this price, that little bit extra really goes a long way. I mean, MSI does it with the MPG versus MAG. You've seen that in my previous video. So far, this monitor really reminds me that LG is back to the glory days, the 27GP950. It's just giving me that vibe. The manufacture date was April 2024, meaning the same month that it arrived. So this is fresh out of the factory and into our homes. Here we have two HDMI 2.1 ports, one display port, 1.4, a USB hub connection, two USB ports, and the power connection. And on the bottom, we have the controller nub. And right next to it, we have the headphone port. All the cables you need to get started is in that cardboard box. And at these prices, I really do wish they would have included a remote. Like on the 27GS95QE, there's no remote to be had. And that remote does go a long way, so it is what it is. This LG is featuring a new stand. It's flat, seamless. It takes up minimal space. And the stand actually includes a wide enough area to fit all your cables. I'm enjoying the stand. And the overall body of this monitor really looks high tech. I do prefer this slimness over the previous hexagon models. I want to include this versus video in this section as I really think it's important for you to see the differences between OLED and mini LED. I'll probably have this section up in another video, but here you can see on the top left we have the Alienware QD OLED, the AW3225QF, and on the bottom the LG32GS95UE, QD OLED versus W OLED. And on the top right, we have the Odyssey Neo G8 versus LG Zone 27GR95UM, their newest mini LED gaming monitor with that nano IPS panel. And while you do see the zone difference, 1196 on the Neo G8 versus the 1560 on the nano IPS LG, the difference is software and of course the technology, VA versus IPS versus OLED. Here the OLEDs look identical. Of course, the two top monitors are curved while the bottom ones are flat. Again, guys, you know this. 
OLEDs win every single time in a scene like this. And once you get into that OLED life, there's no turning back, especially when you see things like this. But the LG 32GS95UE has that infinite contrast and that brightness, that per pixel dimming. Easy, you can see the difference. The 32GS95UE versus the 27GR95UM. I have raised the ISO on both, so you can see that blooming, and you can easily see IPS versus OLED. Look on the left where we can see all the stars, while on the Nano, they're really hard to see. The zones aren't bright enough to actually show the stars like on the OLED. In night scenes, space scenes, OLED wins every single time. I mean, I love the Nano IPS mini LED monitor, and I'll be able to showcase that in the future. But hands down, there's no way you can see this and say OLED loses. If you play a lot of dark games, OLED will win every single time. And that's what I'm showcasing here. That's why you want an OLED. Technically, the less the scene is lit up, the better the OLED looks. While on the Nano, it does get better in the contrast department, say versus the 27GP950. I mean, that's what I would say is the successor, the UM, basically Nano IPS, now with Mini LED. But even with the raised ISO, look how pinpoint the pixels look. They only light up when they need to, no blooming whatsoever. The LG 32GS95UE wins easily versus the Mini LED. And now with this LG rating of 1300 nits capability, it really looks this good. Let's get into that brightness test. Here I have an iDisplay Plus Pro and an SM208 light meter coming in at 2%. We're looking at 1220 nits. At 5%, 881 nits. At 10%, 706 nits. At 25%, 422 nits. At 50%, 316 nits. And with a 100% white window, 260 nits. All colors look vibrant. Nothing looks washed. Like I said earlier, to add a little bit of color to this monitor in all modes, just go into your NVIDIA control panel, look at the desktop color settings, and with digital vibrance, just add 10 points. Go to 60 or 65 max. It really lifts the colors on this monitor. Now for the UFO test. Here at 240 Hz at 4K. Man, this thing looks clear. Here I'm gonna freeze frame it. It looks really clear, really vibrant. Everything is popping. Again, this is an HDR. I'm really surprised by this look. But if we switch things over to 1080p and we switch it to 480 Hz. Two, one. Things are taken up a notch. The resolution is lower, but the image is clearer. You can almost see his little beady eyes. Look at his eyes, the top of his head. It looks clearer at 480 Hz. Now, I wouldn't say night and day, but if you're an enthusiast, like I am, I can see it. So I just wanted to show you that difference. There is a difference, even at 1080p lower resolution. And I'll be able to bring you more games at 1080p 480 Hz, so you can see for yourselves. Now, personally, I would prefer 1440p 480, but I'm sure we're gonna get there very soon as later in the year, we're getting a 27 inch 1440p 480Hz monitor. But I mean, I really like this 32 inch size, so we're gonna have to wait a tad bit, as again, that's only at 27 inches. Consoles look amazing in HDR mode. Gran Turismo 5, look at this HDR scene. It really looks next generation. And that's what you want, right? I mean, the PlayStation 5 Pro coming out very soon and pair it up with one of these monitors, that's a dual mode, consoles and PCs. It's basically an all-in-one monitor. That's how I'm gonna be using it for some console gaming, but specifically for my PC. The image speaks for itself, it looks really good. No blooming whatsoever, the brightness is right. Here with Call of Duty, all the technology, again, infinite contrast, pinpoint accuracy, the colors are there. I am gonna get to some versus videos on this LG versus the Alienware versus the Samsung coming out in the near future versus the Asus. You get what I'm saying? Always to help you make that awesome buying decision. But from what I can see, I have no regrets picking up this monitor. It's a buy 100%. The coding is a non-issue. And if someone would ask me, well, what's the coding look like? If you've seen the GR or GS version, which I've said before, it has an oily Vaseline-ish kind of a look. This, I would say, seems to be about one third that. It's not Vaseline-ish. It's not oily. I mean, the matte coating is there, but I think light is diffused a bit different versus the 27GS. Everything looks clearer in both modes. Here with Wallpaper Engine, everything is vibrant. Everything is sticking out. I love the design of the monitor. I really do wish QD OLED could get that thin at the bottom bezel. But so far, W OLED can, and it looks really sharp. Now let's take a look at that pixel sound. I'm going to set up here two songs. And if you didn't know, we're halfway to Halloween already. So here's a song I mashed up together. And the second song is the outro. I'm going to have it at 100% volume. Let's see if we can hear any distortion.
From what I can hear, it's the best sounding speakers I have ever heard. Sure, we're paying a lot of money for this monitor, so it better have the best speakers, right? But if you need that feature, you don't need a sound bar. It sounds that nice. Look at the body design. Look at that body language. It's a new design. Gone is the hexagon. I don't know, it looks alienish. It's really thin. It looks nice from all angles. And like I said, the stand has an opening to fit all your cables. And the slim design of the stand foot. It really looks nice. Really elegant. Minimalistic. Let's go over the menu quickly. You can see right here, 240 Hz HDR DAS mode is on. Here with Game Adjust, you can select your presets. Here we have the brightness and peak brightness. I do have peak brightness on high, as that's the only way to get the outstanding peak brightness of over a thousand nits, trust me. Leave it on high and forget about it. Here we have the OLED Care. Now I've had this monitor on for about 12 hours and it already hit me with a pixel refresh or a panel refresh, but there's no issue. I turned off my computer, it went into standby. And when I went back on, it said the refresh was complete. I have not updated this monitor as of yet. I don't even know if there's a new update, but I'll bring that to you as soon as I see it. But it has all your standard picture presets. Gamer 1, Gamer 2, sRGB, FPS. Everything that you need, just like the previous OLED monitors, it's here. And a couple of gaming features, like the crosshair, things like that. This is not a tactical monitor, as this monitor is really pushing new technology. That MLA plus brightness, the pixel sound, and the dual mode. But look at these images. Everything is vibrant. Everything just pops off the screen. This is going to be my new main monitor, guys. I love my 32GQ950. It's my workhorse. I play, I game, I do everything on it. And I haven't really showcased a lot of it, as I use it all the time. That ATW polarizer really does help with the contrast. So when I see this monitor, it puts a smile on my face because now this is my new main. This is my new favorite monitor. Friends, I hope this video has been able to show you the differences, the new features of this monitor. But before we go, I want to show you the dual mode and an issue I've had. Not all games will work in dual mode. It's a really cool feature. You press the button on the bottom left of the screen and it switches from 4K240 to 1080p 480. But look what you see here. If you don't switch it, it'll only read it as a 4K240. It won't read it for 80 hertz. You gotta actually enable the button for it to be able to, I guess, accept a 480 hertz signal or to send it out. So the PC can read it and say, hey, this monitor can support 480 hertz. And for example, with Civilization 5, I pressed it. It went from 4K240 to 1080p 480, but the auto HDR or HDR just didn't work because when I tapped on the screen with the mouse, it wouldn't work. Like if 1080p quadrupled and it went super size, what I'm trying to say is not every single game is gonna work flawlessly. I'm sure many will. And what I had to do is press the button again to go back to 4K 240, go into the main menu, select 480Hz 1080p, then start my game up again, and then it worked correctly. So the button for this game doesn't work. And I'm sure many of you are gonna find that problem. Maybe a new firmware update will fix this. I just wanna let you know what I've experienced. But can you tell the difference, at least in this scene, between 240Hz and 480? I mean, YouTube caps us at 60Hz, so it's really hard for you to see it. I will be getting 480fps gameplay in the near future. Can you tell or not over YouTube? Hey guys, I can only do what I can do. But yes, there is a difference. As you saw with the UFO test, it's clearer. But are you willing to let go of that 4K or even 1440p for 1080p? That's for you guys to decide. I really wish this was 1440p 360Hz. That would have been cooler because the size, I love 32 inches. And with this MLA Plus technology, I think it would have been a bigger winner, more usable by many more people. Anyway guys, that's my review on this LG 32GS 95UE, the world's first 4K dual mode gaming monitor, 4K 240Hz, 1080p 480Hz, that awesome pixel sound technology, a nicer matte coating, again, that brightness increase. I really do enjoy that feature, the new design language, links will be in the description, as if you use those links, it truly helps me bring technology to you faster than ever. Friends, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did find it helpful, please hit that like button so more people can see it, to know what's out there, to help them make that awesome buying decision. Consider subscribing if you want more videos just like this one. Breaking news, reviews, and everything in between. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. I'll see you guys next time.